What's going on? What's your name, man? Jermaine. Jermaine. What's going on, guys? Jermaine just showed up. I'm hanging out here trying to get Wi-Fi from McDonald's. Say what's up. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> so he lives over here, and he gave me a little info because I had no idea what this is at. But he's telling me that uh, it's Walmart, like Walmart uh, distribution center. Yeah, a friend so. of my wife says she, she, it was Walmart. I live across this, right down the street, probably right a block from that. I came out of the house to come up here, and there's just smoke everywhere. <laughs> Fire engines coming from every direction, but... When we took, you'll see on today's video, guys. I took the drone up. The whole middle of the the huge places is on fire. The whole that place is gonna be a total loss. There's nothing but the walls on the outside. Man. So I tried to go live from the I, uh, the uh, GoPro right now, guys, but I can't really get it to work. So I'm trying to figure that out. But uh, whatever, we'll just go from the phone. And what are you guys doing? Anybody else around here seeing this? It's a little crazy. The smoke is up in the sky what's up greg what's up bill jason taylor what's going on still looking for a load just nothing p64 what's going on man yeah definitely praying for people in there robert what's happening mike jason scott yeah we got a and he's uh jermaine said it's only about a year old all those warehouses over there man that is some lost product we're gonna need some stuff uh shipped out to <laughs> out to <laughs> plainfield indiana indiana <laughs> Uh, everything's going up, man. Power wheels to Cheerios. Dang. I've never seen a fire with that much smoke power. I'm like, and that that's probably three or four miles away from us. And once I took the drone up, I saw how far it was. What's up, Shadow Frost? That, yeah, PS84, that's like one of those huge, it's not like a Walmart store, it's the distribution center, so. It is giant. Now, we're pretty far away from it, man. But look how far the smoke goes up in the, in the yeah. Massive loss there. Got some insurance coming for that thing. Josh Jaffers, what's happening? Is it clear, guys? That's Matt. Yeah, so I think there's Cheerios and Power Wheels in there. Everything's <laughs> going up, man. <laughs> Everything is going up. But it, it's not going to go in. It's not going to spread because I was when I was had the drone in the air, it's, it's isolated. But imagine if you were delivering there. You're like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> Get my trailer back. I don't care how much stuff's left on the trailer. I'm out of here. Man. Like I that, that yeah, man. T's and P's, I got that's uh, that's there's good. another one. DC little, over here, be a little west on Greencastle. So they might They'll be just diverse. Be loading that one up. They're gonna have containers in the, in the streets. And people said, What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me, guy. I, I delivered to the you right. Yourself, don't hold just a trailer. No, he held my trailer. I'll, I'll show you. It's like, uh, what's his name, Milton from the, the stapler. Don't you take my stapler? I'm gonna go downstairs in the basement. I'm gonna make something happen. Dead dog, what's going on, Robert? Uh, yeah, my trailer is back, guys. Looking for a load. Freddy, Freddy, what's happening? Uh, there's not just, there's nothing for, like, JB Hunt and Coyote had the same load, and both of them were just not coming up more than 1,900 to go back towards Haggai Diesel, like, south of Atlanta. And that should be 2,500 all day. Two, three, 21, something like that, but they're they're not moving. Eddie, what's happening? Drug with T-Bone, what's going on? Adam Neese. T-Dubs is in here. Yeah, they're, it's going down, guys. That is up in the sky when i first saw it it was just probably to here whoops sorry like right there and it was probably about a third of the, the base of it then i threw the drone up real quick and yeah it, it's uh, you can see the, the flames in the drone footage somebody somebody uh was smoking in the bathroom or something i don't know what happened there it's not good it's a major loss there looks like my wife's cooking <laughs> you guys just comments come on wow. Who's in this drug? This is Jermaine. He uh, lives right here. He hey, saw he saw the yeah, W9. It's, it's pretty brutal. Yeah, he, so he knows that that is a Walmart DC, and it's only about a year old, guys. And he said there's another one out to the west a little bit more. Uh, I tried to steal Wi-Fi from uh, McDonald's right here, but I guess it was just outside the range. Thanks a lot for that super chat. One driver to another. Be careful out there. Thanks a lot, uh, Meat Puppet. Your guys' names are hilarious, man. I swear. Toby, oops, is smoking in the, in the smoke room again. <laughs> Smoking in the bathroom, yeah. Somebody, uh, I don't know how that happened. Somebody mixed a little bit of something, something with something else. I hope everyone, my daughter, love T-Dubs and the kiddos. Thanks, Jill Marie. Tim, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to wait till after Matt's to decide if I'm selling the truck to the, Cana the Canadian buyer. Because um, I'm really wanting to have another one lined up. There's a 680 I'm looking at, and there's also an international, but I don't really want the international just because the electrical problems. But the 680, that might be something. But if I can get something else that has a blown motor and go uh, get some more content for you guys, rebuild that one, and then pay off my house with this one, it just makes sense in the long run because these trucks aren't going to be worth this much for that much longer. I don't think. I don't know. Hope, I hope not because then more people can get into business. 
Look at that, guys. Fly a helicopter around that thing. Yikes. Yeah, news helicopter should be here shortly. Yeah, news guys. Hey, well, it's been going on. I, I didn't go live. I watched it for about an hour and was looking for loads. At probably 45 minutes to an hour, that thing's been, been uh, yeah, it's, it's got to be seen from a couple states. We're going to get some smoke over in Ohio. Wee. I wonder what they're, if they have find someone responsible for that, oh, that's a bad day. Yeah, yeah, you can't work. How do you get right. something that big? And how do you let it get out of that? Like yeah, something had to go up with that. Well, they got plenty of like fire systems and stuff and, and all that. It's a brand new building, you said. Yeah. Yeah, they got fire systems ever, so something had to go up bad. Like we're not stopping this once it started. Uh, cool, Jer Jeremy. I'll see you there, man. Is fire? Yeah, fire was on the scene pretty quickly. I started hearing um, fire trucks before I actually noticed the smoke. And then it came up over, I was kind of behind, there's a nice Corvette, behind um, McDonald's. And then I said, I'm going to go live, but I'm going to put my truck right here where I can kind of steal Wi-Fi, but that didn't work. <laughs> so, so we're just using the phone. <laughs> but yeah, so you guys might want to see that. Uh, probably over 1,500 degrees, yikes. Poor Kenny. <laughs> Ejected and thrown away, though, man. Looks like a rubber fire. Yeah, it's a, just a Walmart fire. Maybe they got some tires in there. Are you still, no, my trailer's back, guys. I got it, like, I got good news last night. You'll see it in today's video. Um, at 7.30 when I called back the manager of the receiving department, he said, hey, your number showed up, so I'll have your trailer done about three in the morning. I said, great, I'll pick it up about six. And we did. Who left the oven on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're crossing past if you head to Georgia. There you go, Gage. Uh, I'm hoping I get that load. It doesn't pick up, well, it picks up until later tonight, so we'll see. John, what's going up? Yeah, I'm still in Indy. I'm in Plainfield right now, right by the airport and uh, kind of by the, the track, the Indy 500. Save the geese. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you guys are here. Dustin Williams, what's going on? A whole new meaning to the phrase fire sale. Yeah. Walmart's going to need some more stuff shipped up here, guys. I'm trying to keep warm. <laughs> it's not, I don't know what it is. It's probably in the 60s right now. That's 75, it says. It's nice up here. A little breeze. It's supposed to be warm tomorrow. Warmer tomorrow, yep. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, we, that's Walmart Distribution Center right there. It's on fire. If anybody just coming in, um, it just happened about an hour ago. Crispy, yeah, it's a fire. And that he, uh, there may be saying that's that was built about a year ago. And there's a bunch of uh, different warehouses over there. So, uh, uh, Iris, I did put the drone up, so you'll see that in today's video. It's some good footage. You can see the flames. Fuel prices drop a little? No, they're still they're up here. They're about 25 cents more than South Carolina the, um, for on average. U.S. nuclear? No, it's not. <laughs> down, <laughs> down here at all in so, in Indiana. Yeah, Gage. I'll, yeah, I'll, that's where in South Atlanta is where my shop is at. I'm getting down there for a little special that I'm going to start uh, that they're doing for somebody out there. It's going to be pretty cool to see it. So I'm trying to get down there to interview them, but I'm just not finding a load. Could you say the area again? This is Plainfield, Indiana. I think frozen pizza is done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> yeah, this one here. Races, there you go, Josh Jeffers. Races down in Atlanta this weekend. Watching your videos every day in Tucson, Arizona. There you go, Alan. Say hi to Tucson for me. I love going there to school, man. I went to U of A for four years. Just a Biden dumpster fire. <laughs> Firefighters can't go get to it. Canadian geese won't move you. <laughs> I'm telling you, in today's video, they came at me right here in the parking lot. There was like six of them just flew right over me. I'm like, guys, I wasn't trying to hurt your friend, man. Come on. Plainfield Fire Department confirmed the fire's Walmart warehouse located at 9590. Yep. That's it. No, thanks. Uh, right by the airport. Yep. We're north of the airport a little bit. The cold. Oh, man, it's crazy. They're right around the ring. Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan Avenue, or what's it called? Parkway. Parkway. Yeah, Parkway yeah. I took that for a little bit getting up here. Must be Dick Sporting Goods. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't cause any problems. I went there. He's gonna talk to you, Justin. Yeah. Ask some questions. Nice and peaceful, guys. Nice <laughs> and peaceful. I didn't hurt the geese or the distribution center. Rogue, what's going on? Someone hit an extra zero on the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Ramen noodles, no water. Yeah, bam. <laughs> I wish I had, I wish I could have, yeah, I wish I, I mean, I'm probably going to keep the W9, but it's crazy to see that that price I never thought I would get, and I got one guy offered me 140, one guy offered me the asking price, so that would pay off my house, but we're going to see if I can find something like that old Peterbilt right there with the Cummins in it and just rebuild that with I, with an APU would be nice. I'd have to change the name of the, of the one, the Charmart. <laughs> just, you, guys with the, you guys with the geese comments, yep, T-dubs, they're crazy. How are we doing? I'm 
watch your videos. Thanks, th thanks a lot. You see what's going on over here? Can't miss it. Walmart's on fire. Walmart's on fire. I guess they just built out a year ago. Uh, yeah. Man, that's crazy. So yeah, thanks for watching, man. We're just we're live right now, just kind of covering that and then talking about it and talking about the truck and everything else. But they're gonna need some more stuff shipped up here. Have, have a good day. You too. What was your name? Don't sell your truck. Everyone, that's what they're saying right now. Don't sell a W9. I know. I want to pay my house off. Yeah, I just paid mine off. There you go. I'm trying to get there. What was your name? Dave. Dave, nice to meet you, buddy. You Take later. care. You too, man. Uh, David, what's going on? Josh Jefferson, I'm going to try and vlog it to do. There you go, man. I guess T Dab's order will be uh, smoky. <laughs> what's up, T Dabs? Oh, man. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, guys, uh, 65,000, come on, wow, what's, what's 65,000? Is that how many square feet it is? Maybe. It's huge. When I put the drone up there, it's a whole block. It's a big old distribution yeah, center. It was the first warehouse in that area. That was the one that everyone was built around them? Yeah. Man. Yeah, because when I was droning, there was a bunch of trucks getting loaded right here with another one, and then behind it was Walmart. Oh, man, you were hooked up to the dot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, What if you were just like getting checked in? You're like, oh, man. Because now a bunch of people that were like arriving for appointments are like, I just take this to the other one. And I take it back to where I got it from. I need green light. I gotta get out. Yeah, green light. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this cross docket and get rid of it. Another volcano activity. That's not a volcano. <laughs> that's that's all. I thought if I took the drone up right now, the whole building's probably uh, just to the walls right now. Because when I took the drone up, about 60% of it was a big circle that was on fire in the middle, and that was a while ago. Who's in the cab with me? Everybody here. Oh, this is third timers. <laughs> Jermaine, hello, everybody. What's going on? He, he lives around here, and he saw the truck. He's like, hey, we'll go see what's up. So, and that, then David just stopped by, too. But, yeah, can't miss the, I guess the bumper gives the W9 away, plus a big, huge W9. Like, there's just trucking. The Volvo was easier to spot for people because I had this, the Red Sea. I had the little Red Sea on the on the bumper, or the, or the I made my own grill, and they are like, oh, that's a just trucking. I'm like, yeah, man. Get ready for some Walmart price hikes. Yeah. I bet I bet Miss Makes Sense is in town causing trouble. Probably, she's she's being Milton in the basement, man, from Office Space. That movie. You take my stapler, I'll I'll show you. Let's see how high it is now. Still rolling, man. Yikes! Definitely a volcano in the middle of Indiana. Upset employees saying bye to Walmart. <laughs> Probably. There was a story one time. Uh, there's a bar. If you guys have ever been familiar with Arizona, there's um. A really old bar called uh, the Buffalo Chip up in Cave Creek. It's North Phoenix. It's like makes you feel like you just stepped out of like civilization. And you're back in the wild, wild west. It's a pretty cool place. But there was a story, and it's true. And there was Thanksgiving evening, and they were all like doing like a company party for people that didn't have much family or nothing. They were all just in there drinking. And this one lady who was like a kind of helper janitor lady was complaining about her drinks not being free and like mad about her paycheck not coming. But it's like she was pretty drunk. They said. So she said, I'm going to burn this place down. So then she goes across the street, the Circle K, and buys a lighter and a, uh, a bunch of bathroom tissue. And goes back and lights a huge fire in the bathroom. <laughs> Burns the whole place down on Thanksgiving Day. I was like, what? And, and they have her on film at Circle K, like going in there buying the lighter and walking back over. Like, <laughs> like, so she burned the whole place down. It was a big story. But then they rebuilt it, but it's not the same. It wasn't, they built it differently, but it's still, it's cool. But that's a crazy story. Some people do get mad and decide they are really going to burn the place down. So hopefully that's not the case here. Good thing the toilet paper shortage has been covered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. It's going back to a shortage now, at least in this area. Jeez. Right next to Satisfied Frog Restaurant, I guess. I don't know if there's a restaurant right around here called that. I ate at the Mexican place over there, por por Poto, Porto, or whatever. Pretty good food. Use laser light to move geese. Absolutely. Well, okay. That geese, that guy was not letting me go. Yeah, uh, in the bathroom. They got a nest. Yeah, I didn't see that. So when I went back there, well, I didn't see it this time because I just put my trailer's in a different area. But well, I was looking around like, there's something you guys are protecting right here. Like, you're mad about this area. Uh, what's going on? Um, yeah, he, he definitely had a nest. What's your trailer next to the? What's your trailer next to the geese? <laughs> yeah, it's a bad fire, guys. All the all the fire trucks are over there. You can actually see like four streams going from the uh, east side of the building, trying to. They weren't going to be able to, to get to that middle or stop that fire. I wanted to see you fight the geese now. <laughs> Fighting the geese. Az, what's going on? Pablo, how you doing? Uh, anybody that owns or works a ready mix? No, I don't. If you're driving a road flare, burned to the ground. Had a pickup driver throw a road flare in one of our trucks and burned to the ground. 
I'm telling you, people get mad. I mean, there's seen videos of people just like smashing windshields on old trucks and stuff like they got fired or something. Rogue, yeah, favorite bar. Uh, yeah, see right there, Rogue, Rogue, you're from Arizona, you know it. They had, it's a cool place. Like they had live bull riding on Fridays. It was like a big area. It had a bunch of outdoor tables and campfires going. And like you felt like you just stepped back into 1898 or something, like a bunch of cowboy. People would ride their horses up to the bar because there's a bunch of, what? there's a bunch of like, <laughs> Ranches and stuff in Arizona, yeah, and it's kind of yeah, it's kind of on a hill. And no, they would like straight up come into the bar with the horse and just like tied up, and we we're like, oh, oh, I feel like I'm in the wild, wild west right now. But it was just this a cool bar up, I and mean, they did line dance and live music. This is live, Bob. <laughs> it's happening right now, and that's uh, Justin. I died laughing when you said, "Don't make me grab you by the neck." <laughs> that's what I thought I was gonna have to do if he charged me. Just about two miles, we'll be making a right hand turn. Oh, that's Next red light, I'll get in front of you. That's the oversized people. Normally, they talk to the yeah. There's a pilot car right there, the um, expedition. So there should be somebody else coming. I wouldn't think that that flatbed loads oversized. I guess it is. It says oversized. Don't look much oversized, but whatever. They're being safe. What's on fire? DIY semi. That's Walmart, man. That's a new distribution center built last year, guys. And anybody that uh, sees that DIY semi, subscribe. Oh, around forty. Subscribe to him. He gives a lot of great information, better than I do, about uh, getting your authority and all the stuff for compliance, all that kind of stuff. He's great. So ch check him out. My money's on the geese now. <laughs> uh, uh, FA pilot, I did put the drone up for a little bit and kind of got as close as I could. But uh, you can see the flames. It'll be in today's video. What happened when combined? Do you see? Uh, there goes all the new shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not Dick Sporting Goods, Johnny. Dead dog, what's going on? Talk about a blue light special at Walmart. Oh, yeah. Charred uh, Hot Wheels, for sure. Oh, yeah, and today, guys, I'll have a 3BB video coming soon. Uh, the wide body kick arrived about a week early. It showed up today, so it's sitting in the garage. That's awesome. I talked to my paint guy, and he said, drop it off whenever, and I'll get it done. I said, all right, man. It's going to be cool. I just got to decide if I'm going to paint the inserts red or not. I'm just going to, he'll do any kind of custom work I want, so I want to figure out what we're doing. But yeah, guys, king for barbecue. <laughs> it's so, I mean, it has a lot of fuel, guys. Like, there, it doesn't seem like it's stopping anytime soon. It's going, it's taking out the whole thing. Like I said earlier, uh, about 60% of, of the whole building was on fire when I got the drone up. So I'm sure it's everything now. And just imagine if you were delivering there, guys, or you just got, we're about to check in, like, get a door, like, okay, all right, I guess we're not doing this today. I mean, look at that. It's just poofing in the middle, going right up. Yeah, it's got to be tired tired yeah what someone's feeling it what's up Juan uh, am I in Russia no I'm not in Russia <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> is that a gas station no Allison that's a Walmart distribution center uh Jermaine right here he's the one that told me that information and so yeah. did Dave he's like right across the street from my house <laughs> yeah he's like that's a Walmart I'm like oh man and it was built all those there's a bunch of warehouses over there you'll see in today's drone footage um and now I guess Walmart was the first one and uh, it's definitely the first one to go, too. <laughs> They're going to be rebuilding that one. Yeah, RIP Walmart. There you go. Said that they need the insurance money for, to afford fuel. <laughs> <That's just stupid>. <laughs> <laughs> Lithium IM batteries exploding. Now. Stuart, what's going on from United Kingdom? No walls or Mart will be left. <laughs> Canada, what's going on, little man? Um, you say, I'm fine. Yeah, guys, we're good. We got our Tom Williams, and what's going on? We're back. Um, it's sunny and beautiful up here, guys. Like 75. Uh, T Dub sent me a video of the Hellcats wide body kid arriving, and um, it's pouring down there. It's super rainy in the south, so that's crazy. You rolled 500 miles north of you, and you guys are getting dumped on. Five, 50 percent sale on everything. All must go. <laughs> that's just sad for this area. They're, they're going to be moving a lot of stuff to Walmart because Jermaine said there's another one west a little bit. I don't know how many miles, but that that one's probably going to get stacked right now. They're loading up some trailers. It's about 40 miles. 40 miles, yeah. They'll just be diverting everything over there. Yikes. The geese did not chase me. We got uh, we got out of there. My trailer's in a whole different area. This morning, you'll see in the video, um, they just waved me in. I didn't even check in, show my paperwork, tell them what trailer I have. They're like, we'll see you on the way out. I'm like, okay, all right, I'm gonna go look for my trailer. Walmart for fire sale, oh yeah. Putin goes to Walmart, <laughs> you're dumb. <laughs> Oh man, the geese started the fire. They're evil. No, they didn't. But I'm gonna jump off, guys. I gotta find a load. Uh, we're running about 20 minutes, but T's and P's for Walmart. T's and P's for Plainfield, Indianapolis area, Indiana. Uh, they have definitely 
lost some Walmart distribution around here. And, uh, yep. So let me find a load, guys. Try and get back south or see what, what's going on because it's late in the day now. We're 1 o'clock-ish. And I'm going to probably be eating breakfast and lunch at McDonald's. Who knows? But, yeah, God bless you guys. Say hi to Jermaine one more time. Be safe out there. Yeah, be safe. And we're out. And uh, pray for the good old Wally world. Yikes.